we're Tony and Alex and we're documentary filmmakers. Last year we made a film called Microbirth that showed the importance of seeding a baby's microbiome at the moment of birth. And now we're making a new film showing that what happens next is just as important. Here are some of the world leading experts we've already filmed to explain why. When we're in the womb, as far as we know, we're sterile. And then over the first days, weeks, months of life, we start acquiring our microbes. It's really a very beautifully orchestrated biological system. Uh, babies that are born vaginally are first colonized by b bacteria from the mother's vaginal tract, then uh, new bacteria and new foods are introduced by breast milk, and it's all a self-supporting system. Our microbiome doesn't really stabilize until we're two to three years old. By the time we hit two or three, our microbiome starts to settle down, and then it's pretty stable until we get to about 60 or 70 years old. The first three years of life is absolutely critical for the developing microbiome and for the developing immune system. You need to get the exposure to the right kinds of bacteria under that age, under the age of three. If it happens later than that, it may be too late to train your immune system to respond appropriately. The greatest gift we could give to an infant for a healthy life course is really to ensure that those bacteria, those microbes can inhabit the gut respiratory tract and other tissues that are designed to be there. Any interruption during that period is likely to have lifelong consequences, both for the composition of the microbiome and for the child's developing immune system. So that's our best chance actually for both prevention and intervention to um, restore the healthy composition of the microbiome. You don't need to be a doctor or a scientist to notice that more and more children are getting sick. Allergies, asthma, obesity, diabetes, autism are all on the rise. And while research into the microbiome may still be in its infancy, links are emerging between these childhood diseases and an imbalance within the microbiome. We're making this film to find out what it would take to make our kids stronger, more robust, and ultimately resistant to disease. We know it's really important and we've spent everything we have to get to this stage. But there's so much more we need to do to make a global impact. Here's why it's so urgent. In the United States, it's estimated that most children receive six courses of antibiotics before the age of two. And this can be devastating to the composition of those bacteria that live in their, in their guts and have lifelong consequences for their physiology, for their immune system. That baby's immune system needs to see those good bacteria. It needs to interact regularly with those good bacteria. And so if those are missing, that's a problem and that can lead to later life disease. Our internal ecosystem is degrading over time, generation after generation, that we're stepping down. Each generation is being born with less diversity than the one before it. I think we have to reverse this trend urgently because all of these diseases, not only food allergy, but inflammatory bowel disease, obesity, um, probably autism, I think all of the, of the diseases of Western lifestyle that weren't prevalent a generation ago and that are becoming increasingly prevalent are going to be tied clearly to an influence of the microbiome. This is a point of discovery. We are on a journey to understand this microbial world in the context of health and human well-being. We use science to try to solve problems and to reach new solutions and there's a lot of interest in the microbiome and I'm hoping that that will lead to those new insights and new solutions. Probably the most important thing that we can all do is, is to make sure that we teach children, teach the next generation about the importance of having a healthy microbiome and encourage the changes in that generation. That's where it's going to be most important. While we may all benefit from living a life in balance with our microbes, where it seems to be most critical is that window between birth and the age of two to three. So please help us make this film in order to get this really important message out there. You can help us right now by contributing to our Indiegogo campaign and by sharing the campaign links. Search for A Probiotic Life on Indiegogo.com.